Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It was nice and cool here, thank goodness. We've been uh, without air conditioning now for four or five days, so it's really nice. It's in the low 70s today, so nice and cool. I am so thankful for that. Uh, as you guys all know that... Um, there's a new conflict in the Middle East between Israel and Palestine. And, you know, I know Palestine's not recognized, but I recognize it because Palestine was a country before Israel. So I do recognize it myself. Uh, there's so much hate between these people, the Jewish people and the Arabic people, the Muslim people. There's so much hate between them, and it's so sad that these people can't live in peace together. You know, most of the people that are there in Israel, they hold dual pass passports. They're not actually from Israel. But, you know, people from all over the world converge on Israel. And Israel is very strong because it has the backing of so many countries, and the U.S. especially. And, you know, when Israel soldiers kill Palestinian people, Arab people, we don't really hear anything about it. It's not reported. And they've had so many atrocities. They're treated so badly. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it just goes unreported, you know. And... I don't know if you guys saw, if you're on Twitter, if you uh, can see other people, what they're putting that putting on Twitter, that it, uh, the reason kind of behind what was what's happening right now, which is a lot of different things, but uh, the Arabic people were in a mosque praying, and it was um, right at the holy days of the Jewish holy days, and they cleared out the mosque. And they were beating people and, you know, pulling people out, the Israeli soldiers. And, you know, that's, they just don't have any respect for them at all. It's just terrible what they've been put through and what they are put through over and over and over again. Um, and I got some downloads about what's going on that I want to share with you guys. Okay. The first thing that I got was... The West will be judged. And, you know, I, I'm asking about who orchestrated this. Um, who's to blame? Who, who, who's orchestrating this? Who's helping them? And, and I'm shown, follow the footsteps. There's a rat. And I, when I see that rat, it turns into a tiger. So it, that leads me to believe that that's China. That they act meek, um, but they really have some responsibility for this war and what's going on. And it's a distraction for Putin. That's all it is. It's to get us focused on what's going on in Israel so that Putin can, you know, do more damage and gain more control, you know. So this, this has been planned, okay? So our government is in chaos right now because, you know, there's no speaker right now. So there's some chaos going on in our government. So this was a perfect time to launch this. So... We're focused on, you know, getting our government in order, which it isn't, and Israel having a war over there with Palestine. We're focused on that. So that, you know, takes our eyes off Ukraine. So as, as the U.S. rushes to defend Israel... It's going to lessen the appetite for us to defend uh, Ukraine and send more money to Ukraine. And that's, you know, that's what Putin wants for sure. So that will be diminished greatly and 
it can be put on the back burner. And when that's put on the back burner, Putin will try to make some headway. So, you know, don't we don't need to keep our eyes off the Ukrainian war because we're going to see some strides taking place during this time. Now, Hamas doesn't expect to conquer Israel. They don't expect really to like win the war, but they know they don't have the power, but um, they want to make, that's why they're called a terrorist group because they want to make people afraid. Be afraid to live in Israel. Be afraid to come and visit Israel because you never know when an attack is going to happen. Just when you think things are peaceful and going wonderfully and you know they were, they were having um, an outdoor musical fair when this strike happened so that's what they want they they just want to let Israel know that anytime they have their guard down they can strike them again uh, and that's why they're called terrorists you guys because they don't have the military or the air support or the defensive technology that Israel has because they've not been allowed to, allowed to because there's been a military embargo on them in place. So they resort to terrorist acts. Um, they feel they have no choice. And it's, it's such a shame because innocent, peaceful people suffer on both sides. I do see that uh, the Taliban also involved. Um, they are providing support so the, the Taliban have a lot of money, and they're, they're funneling support to them. But Israel um, will use, I'm seeing robots now, I, and I feel like these are on the ground and in the air that will go into Gaza Strip. And it, they will go in ahead of the military. So I do feel like there's going to be boots on the ground. Uh, that they're going to be looking for the people that have been kidnapped. And there is, there's backup for Israel at sea. I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a big ship out in the ocean. So there's, there's backup for them. They're going to be using canines. I, I see these dogs being deployed. In darkness so it's not like in the night in the light of day it's in it's in nighttime they are gonna deploy these and these dogs are black so they're kind of like a black German Shepherd uh, these dogs will d be deployed to help find uh, the, the people and I feel like they will locate them I see them I see them that they're located but I also see they're, I see they're covered in blood. So I hope that doesn't mean, you know, that anything bad will happen to them. Uh, they are being used as a shield. That was the plan. That's why they took them. They are a shield. They are to cover. They're a cover, you know. So you don't want to come and blow up where the kidnapped people are at, you know. And you don't know where that is. So they definitely want to know where these people are being kept so that they, you know, don't, don't destroy um, these people and their lives. They're, you know, there's children and mothers and, you know, young people, old people that have been taken. And they will keep them alive as long as they're useful to them, you know, because they're a shield. But I see this big shadow of darkness uh, coming from the sea. It's from the distance. I feel like this is going to end the war. So it, it, it's coming in. I don't think it's going to take that long. So there's something that's going to end this and stop this abrupt, abruptly, some darkness. So I don't know. Um, that's, that's what I'm being shown, what, um, you know, however you want to interpret that. <laughs> that that's what uh, 
my spirit team is showing me for now. But what we can do is we can pray for them. So I ask all of you to pray for these people, pray for peace for the Israeli people and for the Palestine people. You know, it's just innocent people getting hurt. That's all it is. Innocent people, mothers, fathers, uh, children, elderly people, they're, they're the ones being hurt. So pray for peace, that this will be settled in a peaceful, calm way. And the more that we can see things happening, that we can see peace talks going on, just view that in your mind um, and say to yourself, "This is I'm so grateful that there's peace between Israel and, and Palestine people. I'm so grateful for the peace. I'm so grateful that talks are underway. I'm so grateful that um, differences are are being um, put back together, you know. So as long as um, we can put some positive energy into this, it will be so helpful. So prayers are very helpful and they're needed right now. I know there's a lot of things going on in the world, but this is the biggest thing going on right now. So it's got our attention focusing that away. So as you're watching TV, as you're focusing on it and thinking of it, just pray. Just pray and um, pray that this is resolved quickly without, you know, a lot of tragedies happening. And just, I would, I would pray to be grateful. I'm so grateful that this conflict is resolved quickly. I'm so grateful that no other person will lose their lives. I'm so grateful that peace is going to be sought after and peace will begin to bring these two people, two factions, two countries, uh, people back together. God bless all of the people that are involved in this conflict, everyone on both sides. God bless them with peace and compassion for each other. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for a reading today. So my last reading that I did, and I talked about feeling sorry for Kevin McCarthy, that he had such a terrible look on his face. And I got a little flack from y'all from that. Hey, I'm a compassionate person. I always uh, have this thing about feeling uh, for the underdog, you know, and that's who I am. So, you know, that that's just who I am. And my husband has said to me on more than one occasion, Trudy, you need to treat people like they treat you. And I tell him, Mm, that's not the way it works. I treat people the way I want to be treated, not the way that they're treating me. And so, you know, there's a two different ways of thinking, but that's just my way of thinking. And uh, yeah, I, I felt sorry for him, uh, what he had to experience and go through. He brought it on himself. I understand that, but I still have compassion for him for, you know, what happened. So anyway, there it is. I put it out there. Just, um, just, just saying. All right. So today is Columbus day and, uh, everything is closed. Banks are closed. You know, schools are closed. My grandkids are here today. So that's nice. They get a day off, extra day off, long weekend. So I hope you guys are enjoying this day off. Um, I am going to work. A lot of people have, you know, have a uh, time off today, but not me. I'm working. So if you would like to get a reading with me, if you need a healing session, a chakra balancing, uh, some energy cleansing of your home or office, just look down below. I'll leave my email and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I look forward to hearing from you guys and do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Love you guys. Bye for now.